Hey. <laughs> Welcome to episode 91 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host today. And today we have a guy named Paxton Gray. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. So the moment of clarity this week is to know which hat is at the bottom. Let me show you. Well, if you're not watching this, but I have a lot of hats on. And we wear a lot of hats in life and business. And they're all a little different. Sometimes they look the same. And they get very distracting or they get very stressful and we forget. But the real thing is, know which hat is at the bottom. Because the hat that's at the bottom is actually the most important one. And it's the one you keep closest. So make sure you know which one's at the bottom so you can keep the main thing the main thing. So my moment of clarity this week is know which hat is at the bottom. I'm so excited for what he's gonna show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's favorite. Hey, so if you know me, you know that I love music. And this week my pick is from one of my favorite bands, 21 Pilots. And I'm picking this remix that Tyler Joseph did. He got out of his normal routine, and when he was at an, uh, doing a show in Berlin, he rented a studio for one day and reimagined one of his songs called The Hype. And there's a great little video that we're gonna link up below that shows the human journey of that day. And once you listen to the song, it's not gonna get out of your head. You can ask Patrick, he's been singing it for a week. So my pick this week, the Hype Remix in Berlin by the band 21 Pilots. I'm excited to share today's episode with you. Um, it's an interview with my new friend, Paxton Gray, who is an executive vice president of operations at the agency 97th floor. And we talk about marketing and that's B2B marketing, B2C marketing. We get a little tactical and we talk about I think is the most relevant conversation in marketing today. And that is understanding that your audience is human. You've heard me talk about B to H business to human. And this conversation really solidifies some of those points. And also a super cool thing. Uh, Paxton sent over some signed copies of Seth Godin's book, this is marketing. They had Seth Godin, who I reference a lot. They had him speak at an event that they did, and he was nice enough to give them some signed copies. And he actually sending one to us that we can give to you. So we're giving away a signed copy of Seth Godin's book. To get a book, be eligible for a book, we're going to do a little ask here. You have to go to the website of the new workshop we're launching, brandisgravity.com. If you go to brandisgravity.com and sign up to be on the first to know list, and screenshot that and tweet it at me, Paul the Daily. You will be entered the win. Once we have 10 or 20 entries, I'm gonna pick one from those. And uh, so do it fast. So I hope you enjoy this conversation with Paxton Gray. I think you will. He's a great guy and has a lot of good insights. And so here it is, my conversation with Paxton Gray. Paxton, thank you so much for taking some time for me and the Clarity Compressed audience today. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, okay. So for the people that don't know you, um, can you give us like the six, one to two minute bio on uh, who you are, what you do, and the um, floor is yours? Yeah. So I have uh, been in the world of digital marketing for, uh, I'm approaching 12 years now. Uh, I started a company that built and hosted websites and I did tech support for them. So helping clients with their cPanel and set up their email and all that good stuff. And, you know, a lot of them would ask me, great, I've got this new website. Now, what do I do with it? Like, how do I make sales and how do I get people to the site? And so I said, I don't know. So I started learning SEO and, and uh, started consulting the clients on how to get traffic to their site. And that's kind of how I, I dove in. Uh, that said, I always wanted to work at a big, sexy New York advertising agency, and then uh, I ended up marrying a girl who does not love the idea of living in New York. So <laughs> started looking around here at agencies, and Me I found too. 97th floor. Yeah, <laughs> and, and um, 
you know, nice and floor. We've been around for, uh, we're just about to hit our 14 or we just passed our 14th, uh, anniversary. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you. That's thank legit. You. You've gone 14 years. You've like made it through some significant ups and downs. That's right, man. Yeah. Yeah. When we started, uh, digital marketing was a totally different landscape back then. Yeah. And, you know, we started and in, in doing SEO was our primary thing. And then we added design, uh, uh, as a kind of a separate service. And then slowly we've, you know, we've added PPC content marketing and, uh, marketing automation, conversion optimization, all that good stuff. So, um, so I oversee all fulfillment here. Uh, we're a 95 person shop and, um, uh, we work on clients anywhere from, uh, we, we do a lot of enterprise client work. Uh, so B2B SaaS tech companies, uh, lifestyle, health and wellness companies is kind of our, our jam. So, and so, you know, you said that you, you, um, you have a focus a lot on B2B or you just have a lot of B2B clients and SaaS businesses, things like that. Um, Mm -hmm. one of the trends that I see, and I'd love to hear your perspective on this is that marketing in general has become a lot more human in general across the board. Um, what do you see as differences or similarities, whatever your perspective is on kind of the modern way to market B2B and B2C? Like, what are the differences? What are the similarities that you see? Yeah. So, uh, some differences B2B is typically, you know, you're dealing with a longer sales cycle Mm -hmm. almost always. I'd say automotive is maybe the only place in B2C where you have a semi long sales cycle, but most of B2C is typically like C and by, um, so, so you have to account for that. Uh, also with B2B, you're typically dealing with a sales team in that process. And so you're going to have to deal with the handoff between marketing and sales. Mm-hmm. And that, that gets very hairy and complicated. Like finding the um, decision maker who's actually saying yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Well, and then the same thing with B2B, you're typically have multiple decision makers depending mm-hmm. on the size of, of your product and implementation. So there, there are a lot of differences there and just those three things can cause some uh, you have to kind of rethink it. Um, similarities though, you know, I, I think one of the weak, like the way we understand the world as humans is we, we like to segment and isolate. And so, you know, we go to math class and we say, okay, this is math and I'm going to put that in the math box. And then the, I go to English class and this is English. I put that in English box. Mm-hmm. And that's a great way to understand the world. Um, however, that presents some limitations because how are math and English, how are they related? Because they are right. And there's a lot of, uh, to be gained by looking at how those are related. And so we do the same thing with marketing often, uh, in B2B, we say, okay, this is, this is B2B. These are our business people, right? So I'm going to put them in the business people box. And so then we say, where are we going to hit them up? We're going to hit them up on LinkedIn, the business platform, right? We're going to hit them with eBooks, business eBooks, you know, and we totally forget the fact that like, yeah, that's, that's a business dude, but he's a, he's a father, he's a husband. He, he likes guitar, you know, like, what, what are the other things, you know, like, uh, I just had a discussion with some, um, uh, someone else and, and we were talking about a B2B client. I was like, what if we reached out to cake, like the band yep. and like, that's totally the right demographic. Like they are fans of cake, right? They're going to hear do a little engines are bumping concert. and thumping in time. And they're going to be like, yeah. yes, this company understands yes, exactly. me. Yeah. 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 And we totally forget that fun side of people in B2B. And we just say they're just CEOs or they're CMOs or they're whoever, like they're more than that. So what do you think? Was that lion? He's a good guy. He's a smart guy. And he's obviously somebody who is in the weeds of it, in the weeds of marketing, in the weeds of business, the thought and the mindset that tying marketing and strategy and tactics back to the human element of business And then the part of the conversation where we talk about actually tying that to the center core of what a brand is about, and that's where the real magic is, that's where the real horsepower is, Um, I, I love that part of the conversation because you know that is what I'm all about. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you bring people closer to you, and remember that business is actually very, very human, and I hope that you treat it that way and make the world a better place, make the business world a better place make the marketing world a better place. You've already made my world a better place. Hope you have an awesome week. See you later. Yeah. Yeah.